On today's show, the production Audi e-tron finally breaks cover and has its big reveal event in San Francisco, Tesla's Model 3 aces all of its crash tests in the US, and a Jaguar I-Pace drives through the Channel Tunnel. These stories and more coming next. This is Ecotricity's Ecotech Roundup show from New Zealand's only Carbon Zero certified renewable electricity company. We're 100% Kiwi and 50% community owned. Switch today at ecotricity.co.nz. Hi there, folks. I'm Nikki, your weekly guide into the world of clean energy and transportation. And as always, I'm really glad you're here with me. We're starting today with Tuesday night's big reveal of the 2019 Audi e-tron SUV, a car that's already begun production in Europe and should be in New Zealand sometime next year. Most of the reveal wasn't exactly a surprise since Audi has been drip feeding us info for ages, but we did learn about two new cool things with this upcoming model. First, it will be the first production car to offer side view cameras rather than mirrors in markets where such things are allowed. And second, it'll charge at up to 150 kilowatts from a compatible CCS charging station. I've made a separate video on it, so click the link above my head if you want more info. Tesla's third mass-produced electric car, the Model 3, has just aced all of its official crash tests at the hands of the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration. Gaining full five-star ratings across the board for all of the variants currently available, the Model 3 continues Tesla's exemplary crash test record and takes into account not only structural safety, so actual impact performance, but also the presence of Tesla's autopilot-derived safety systems. Well done, Tesla! U.S. bus manufacturer Proterra has just announced the successful close of a 155 million U.S. dollar investment round, with Daimler, Tao Capital and G2VP all making major investments. Proterra's long-range electric buses are among some of the best in the public transit industry, but Daimler's investment in the firm will open up a joint partnership between Daimler's Thomas-built school bus division and Proterra. This could lead to your children's next school bus being all electric rather than diesel. BMW has already been at the forefront of working to ensure the materials it uses for its lithium-ion batteries are responsibly sourced. This week, it confirmed it wants to expand its ethical battery sourcing, adding that it's looking to work with other automakers to do the same. In addition, BMW says it's looking for partners to work with on its autonomous vehicle development, sharing costs and developing an industry alliance to standardize autonomous vehicle parts. As the first Jaguar I-Pace electric cars have started to hit dealer forecourts in Europe, Jaguar has announced the Jaguar Electrifies experience across major cities in the US. Set to run from October 3rd through October 7th, Jaguar will be touring the, the I-Pace across the US and holding simultaneous launch events with dealerships around the country to give customers a chance to test the I-Pace on road and on a closed autocross course. You can find more information at jaguarusa.com. Remember that supposed interest from the Saudi Arabia Public Investment Fund that would have allowed Tesla to go private? Well, although Tesla CEO Elon Musk and Tesla's board decided in the end that wasn't the way the company should go, Lucid Motors has stepped into Tesla's place, securing a one billion US dollar investment from the Saudi Arabia PIF. Lucid has yet to bring a vehicle to market, but said this week that the investment will help it complete engineering and testing of the Lucid Air its first production luxury electric car. It's stupidly fast, promises autonomous capabilities and over-the-air updates, and Lucid said it will be built in Casa Grande, Arizona in the not-too-distant future. Polestar, the luxury performance arm of Volvo, which was recently rebranded as a plug-in only brand, has published details of how it wants to develop a new approach to car ownership for its first US customers when its first vehicle, the Polestar 1 plug-in hybrid sports coupe, launches next year. Rather than offer traditional finance or lease packages, Polestar says it wants to offer customers a subscription service that covers everything from insurance and maintenance to the actual vehicle cost. As part of this, it wants to offer pick up and drop off of customers' cars, ending the days of waiting in a service center reception while your car is being worked on. A Volkswagen has been pushing pretty hard in the last few weeks in the world of EVs showcasing this week for the first time the all-electric MEB platform that all of its upcoming ID electric cars will be built on. 
Last week, I told you it was working to convert its first factory to all electric operation next year, producing upwards of 100,000 electric cars per year from that facility by 2020. Now it's confirmed it's looking to build a dedicated US factory for North American EVs, establishing a brand new plant somewhere in the US by 2022. As for New Zealand, well, it's unlikely we'll see any Kiwi factories, but I'm guessing Volkswagen will turn at least one of its Australian plants all electric. I guess we'll have to wait though and find out. This week, Porsche unveiled the new 800 volt super fast charging stations it's designed for use with its upcoming Porsche Taycan. It's calling them electric pit stops. The stations are striking in their design and are designed with a three-piece methodology in mind. There's a box for all of the transformer circuitry, a box for the cooling system required for such high power transfers, and the actual stall itself, which can be away from the power electronics, a bit like Tesla's. There's also an option to include batteries, so 350 kilowatt charging stations can be installed in locations where the power supply isn't up to the 36 kilovolts required for direct grid-to-vehicle charging. Following the completion of successful trials, Tesla has confirmed that it will be opening up its own accident repair centers for Tesla cars. The hope is that they will be far faster than third-party repair facilities and, because Tesla lets its centers have a full stock of spares, something it doesn't let third parties do, it probably will be, and cheaper too. I've made a video on this one, so follow the link above for more info. The Fiat Chrysler Group hasn't exactly been known for its EV production in recent years, but rumours are flying around that it's looking to potentially bring the all-electric autonomous minivan Chrysler Portal to market. Supposedly designed for millennials, this six-seat minivan was unveiled at CES 2016 as a concept car. FCA isn't confirming or denying it, but past statements made by the late Sergio Marchione about replacing the Dodge Grand Caravan with a new vehicle does seem to give some credence to this one. And finally, the Channel Tunnel is either one of the best or worst things about traveling between the UK and mainland Europe, offering car and passenger rail services under the English Channel. Usually, you need to travel through it on a train, but Jaguar has just sent its all-new iPACE electric SUV through the Channel Tunnel service tunnels to prove that you can drive directly from London to Brussels on a single charge. I don't mind tunnels, but I'm not sure I'd want the monotony of driving that really long one if I was behind the wheel. The channel is long, like 50 kilometers long. And on that note, I'm going to say goodbye. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Tell your friends about the show. And if you've got some feedback, then send it our way. As always, I'll be back soon with more Ecotech goodness. So make sure you hit that notification bell to find out the minute a new show is uploaded. In the meantime, I hope you have a fantastic remainder of your weekend. Make sure you do something fun and don't forget to help keep those wind turbines spinning by switching to New Zealand's only Carbon Zero certified renewable electricity company. Thanks for joining me. I'm Nikki Gordon-Bloomfield. Kakite. See you next time.